Hi, everyone. My name is Jen, and I'm the creator of Smishy. A few weeks ago, my father passed away, and he took his own life. We have two mantras, two trademark core principles at Smishy. The first one is give yourself a hug, emphasizing the importance of self-care first. And the second one is bend, don't break. Through self-care, we aim to help our readers channel their inner palm trees so they can find the strength to bend, don't break in the face of life's storms. Well, unfortunately, my dad broke. He did not bend. And I'm committed to getting trained in suicide awareness and prevention and infusing this work into Smishy, help bring awareness save lives in any way I can. If I can save one life, one family, I'm going through this pain, this nightmare, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I shared some words at my dad's memorial and many people came up to me after to say how much it helped them and that I should share it with others. So today that's what I'm gonna do. There's a little prep work involved um, in case you want to do something similar at uh, your family's memorial. So before the eulogy, we handed out index cards and pens and asked everyone to jot down one of their favorite memories of my dad. And then here, here's the eulogy. All it takes to illuminate a dark room, just flip on the light. That's all it takes. Just one flip of the switch and the entire room is illuminated. However, you have to actually flip the switch or ask someone for assistance. And even then, you have to be able and willing to see the light. Even though my father's life was full of happy memories and the people who loved him, he had trouble seeing the light at the end. Well, I'd like to remind him. I firmly believe in my heart that he's here right now, probably wearing a Coming to America t-shirt or his infamous cool, smooth, and wild t-shirt under a Patriots jacket, perhaps checking this thing out, watching us and listening to what we have to say. Let's show and remind him of the light that he brought into our lives, the light that was always there, the light that at the end he struggled to see. We previously passed out index cards and pens and asked you to jot down one of your favorite memories of my dad. Could be something funny, some heartfelt words of advice, or a random act of kindness. And yes, in typical classroom teacher style, we will ask a few of you who are so moved to share aloud. And for those who don't share aloud, know that just the act of writing it means my dad will see it and remember it. All right, everyone, let's remind my dad of all the good times we shared. Let's fill this room with light. A few people shared. And then so many memories, so many good times. Remember them, not only with my dad, but with all your loved ones. We all will continue to face challenges in our lives. We will experience heartbreak or disappointment. Life is not all unicorns and rainbows, but when times get tough and the storm winds blow, I ask you to remember your rainbows. Remember the sunshine, remember the joy, because I guarantee you, if you shift your perspective ever so slightly, you will see there has been more joy in your life than pain. But will you choose to see it? In the darkest moments, will you remember it? Will you ask others to help you remember? My dad is asking you to remember, to ask for help when you find yourself unable to remember. One flip of the switch is all it takes. God said, let there be light, and there was light. In your darkest moments, there is still light around you. Find it, see it, ask others to help you see. Say aloud if you need, God, let there be light, show me the light. There is light around you now, and even on your darkest days, remember it is there. Ask for it to be shown to you, and when you see it, use it to help shine the light for others so they may find their way. Together, let's fill this whole world with so much light that those struggling in the darkness can only choose but to see. Thanks, everyone. Give yourself a hug. Well, smishy.